Alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than, than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man, and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, um, I'd like to say something about the gospel and then the, the last, the third point is to link it to the feast today. Today is the feast of St. Charles Borromeo, you know, one of the great reformers of the church, you know, uh, together with Ignatius. You know, they were contemporaries. You know. uh, so first about you know, the sensitivity of Christ. You know, again, we'd like to look at that. And then the second is his whole, the parable that reminds us of humility and a sense of entitlement. You know, so that's a sec that's a second point. And then the third point is to talk about humility you know, and, and service you know, as, as applied to the life of St. Charles Borromeo. So first about you know, the sensitivity of Christ. You, know? you notice the gospel opens with that. You know? He was invited to this, to this dinner. And then all of a sudden he notices how the people were jockeying for position. You know? And because of that, that occasion, the, he's giving a parable. And I guess you know, that's very important for us who wish to serve, for us who are doing ministry. It's important that we may become very sensitive and very observant no? because the, 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 the tragedy of, of service and ministry is that we only serve and minister from our perspective. No? But at the end of the day, what is very important is to be able to serve the needs of the people that we wish to serve. And that requires a tremendous amount of sensitivity, a tremendous amount of, of setting aside one's own interests and biases, no? to be able to actually see, to be able to discern no, the real situation and needs of people. And that is the sensitivity of Christ. No? And because of that, Christ is able to respond appropriately. And in this situation wherein people are trying to jockey for the places of honor, he responds with a very beautiful parable that talks about a sense of entitlement and humility. Maybe that first point, no? our ability to, to, to discern, our ability to be very, very observant and therefore to respond properly. And then the second is about the, about the parable itself. Now, here Christ clearly shows people who have a sense of entitlement, who would take the place of honor. But later on, no, because I think we are given what we are due, so to speak. No? So I think the sense of entitlement is really what warps our sense of judgment. No? And also, it, it, it gives us a very warped, sense of self-esteem no we tend to uh, we tend to bloat our ego so to speak no with a sense of entitlement no but here Christ, Christ clearly says no don't do that you will get embarrassed no you will be embarrassed in the end that's why he he in a sense he he uplifts no the 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 virtue of humility no so go to the lowest place and later on the host will invite you to a higher place no the place of honor and then you will earn even the esteem of your of your companions at table, no? and for me this is very important no? because we've reflected so so many times on how a sense of entitlement leads us to a very wrong no outcome or a very very sad outcome, but humility always leads us to, I think what is best and but and I think humility leads us to a genuine encounter with Christ. No, remember that beautiful line, one of my favorite lines from Scripture, no, from the prophet Micah. You know, man, what is good, no. It is to do good and to walk humbly with your God. You know, man, what is right, no? It is to do good and to walk humbly with your God. 
That is the humility that we pray for. Then the third and final point is St. Charles Borromeo. No? You know, the great saints, if you notice, of Charles Borromeo, St. Francis of Assisi, Ignatius of Loyola, you know, there is a sense of, of giving up everything that they have. These, these people are well-to-do people, no? and, and in a sense, they, they, their families possess a certain influence and power. But notice how they humble themselves, no? leaving behind everything, no? that they may follow Christ. No? And here I think, no, um, and, and clearly, no, because of that, Charles Borromeo was highly exalted, no? one of the great reformers of the church. No? He saw how, how the big problem of the church was the formation and education of the clergy, so he dedicated himself to that. And that was, that was part of a major move towards the counter-reformation, no? uh, countering the reformation movement of Luther. No? And so there you have Charles Borromeo, who came from a powerful family, no? and yet dedicated himself no? with humility. And because of that, in a sense, he's one of the most exalted saints of the period of the counter-reformation. And I think that reminds us no, of the need of conversion, the conversion that leads to humility, and the humility that leads to a genuine service no, of God and His Church and His Kingdom. Siguro magandang pagnilaya natin ito ngayong araw, no, ngayong weekend, na makikita natin dito, una sa lahat, yung pagkasensitibo ng Panginoon. At yan ay nagmumula sa tunay na pagbukas ang kanyang isipan at puso, kung ano ba talagang estado ng mga taong nakakasalamuhan niya at yung mga taong kanyang pinaglilingkuran. Mahalaga yan eh, kasi kumisan kahit tayo naglilingkod, meron tayong sariling mga 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 bias, mga kuro-kuro, haka-haka at kumisan yan yung pinapataw natin sa sitwasyon, ano? Hindi natin nababasa o nararamdaman ang tunay na pangangailangan ng mga tao. At makita natin dito dahil sa pagkasensitibo ng Panginoon, tugma ang kanyang tugon. Nagbigay siya ng isang ano, no, talinghaga, isang parable tungkol sa mga taong mayayabang, di ba? At sa mga taong mapagkumbaba. At yun yung pangalawang punto, no? Sinasabi niya, kailangan maging mapagkumbaba kayo kasi kung masyadong mayabang, uh, mapapahiya, no? Yun yung ehemplo na binigay niya, kukunin mo yung parang presidential table, no? Pero pag may dumating na higit pa sa'yo, ay sasabihin nung, may, nung, nung, nung nag, may, may papiging, pwede bang lumipat ka, so mapapahiya ka. Samantalang habang ikaw ay magpunta sa lugar na hindi pang, pang ano, no, presidential, presidential table at inanyayahan ka na magpunta sa presidential table, yun, ano, mabibili ba ang tao sa iyo? No? Yun ang sasabi ng, ng talinghaga o ng parabol. No? So yung pagiging entitled, sabi nga natin sa Tagalog, feeling at pagiging mapagkumbaba. At yung pangatlong punto ay tungkol sa pagkukumbaba. No? At kagaya nga ng kapistahan ngayon si San Carlos Borromeo. No? Siya ang isa pinakamahalagang santo nung panahon nung pagkontra sa mga protestante no? nung 16th century. Kas- kasama ni San Ignacio de Loyola. Sila yung dalawang, ilan sa pero sila yung dalawang masasabi natin uh, pillars nung panahon ng counter-reformation. At ganun ang kanilang buhay. Sila, si San, San Francisco de Assisi, Di ba, inhiwan nila yung kanilang yaman, yung kanilang pribilehyo para mapaglingkuran ang Diyos at ang simbahan. Yun ang kababaang loob, ano? Na upang higit tayong makapaglingkod. So today, let us pray for this, for the gift of sensitivity and humility that may lead us to greater service.